To God be the glory and praise. I would like to share to you uh, the continuation of the dream about the horses. This is actually second part of the three. And it has something to do about the darkness, the kiss of deception, and then the washing of faith. In my dream, I saw myself seated in this staircase and everything was dark. And I noticed that uh, at this hour, um, it's like uh, early morning because I'm seeing like a huge clock floating in the sky and it's showing like one o'clock early morning it's like 105 110 something like that but i know my attention was focused on like one o'clock early morning and i was seated there then suddenly a guy just came close to me and gave me a kiss like a smack kiss but i can't move i can't move but my brain is working that time i can't move he just gave me a smack kiss and he's like whispering uh whispering something on my ear it's like a deceptive i felt like uh you know uh, i don't trust him you know what he's doing is not right but uh i can't move i'm just like seeing what's going on so he gave me that smart kiss and whispering something that i can't trust then after that he moved away went back to to the it's like a house, a restaurant beside, on my right side, beside me. And then he came out holding a basin with water. And then, just like what I said, I can't move. I'm just looking straight and I'm seated. And then he went out holding this basin with water. And then he washed my feet. And that's the time I started to speak. I said, um, why are you washing my feet? And then he said something that I didn't, I can hear him talking, but I don't understand what he's saying. So he was washing my feet. And then suddenly, and after that, he actually had a towel wiping my feet, you know, wiping my uh, feet wet, uh, dry. So he's wiping my feet. And then after that, I actually just stood up and then left that area. I went out of the door. And when I woke up, I was trying to, you know, when I woke up, um, just to let you know, brothers and sisters in Christ, for, for, for a week or so, I've been, I've been having a lot of dreams, but I can't remember anything when I wake up. But then I always constantly pray to the Lord if He wants me, uh, if He wants to tell me, if He wants to tell me something that I could also share to the people. Uh, just to show me things and let me remember things that I need to remember and um, Here we go again. He's been showing me things and praise be to God to him be the glory and praise and then um, As I woke up and I tried to figure out washing of feet There's like a, a, a point that I that will really get my attention the kissing the deceiving kiss and then the wee hour and at the same time, uh, the washing of feet. And so, I made a research about it, which is, uh, I know, very relevant to, the, to our time right now. When you go to Matthew 26, verse 48 to 49, Now he who was betraying him gave them a sign saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one seize him immediately judas went to jesus and said hail rabbi and kissed him it's just like telling me when you might say you know you're not jesus i know i'm not jesus i am not no one is jesus but only jesus yahweh the son of god but this dream is like telling me that we are on the time that we are going to be persecuted that the deceiving kiss is already here that the friend or the people that we trusted are now here deceiving us and are now willing to give up to give us all up for persecution because of the money and i know brothers and sisters in christ who actually 
whose eyes are open to Christ, who can see and whose ears are open to hear. I know you understand what I'm talking right now. So when you go to 14, uh, Mark 14, verse 44 to 45, Now he who, who was betraying him had given them a signal, saying, Whomever I kiss, he is the one. Seize him and leave him away under guard. After coming, Judas immediately went to him, saying, Rabbi, and kissed him. These are the different Bible verses about Judas kissing Jesus to betray him and sold him for, for silver, for a few coins. And this is actually, you know, when I woke up, I felt like, Lord, is this already the time? that me testifying for your glory and praise that you are real that you are present that you are there waiting for us to repent is this dream trying to tell me right now that i will be uh, i will be uh, betrayed that i will be ready for persecution and i know that after after do uh, you know writing down this dream i know this is not only for me this is all for the christians who accepted Jesus Christ and he and for all the Christians who are walking with Christ right now and so what is the we hour I made a research when you go to mark 1 verse 35 very early in the morning while it was still dark Jesus got up left the house and went off to solitary to a solitary place where he prayed I can sense that it's like trying to picture out that this is the time where Jesus was actually praying, praying that uh, maybe that the Lord, that God the Father will give him strength because he knows for a fact that he's going to die on the cross. And it's just a preparation. He's praying and telling Peter, Peter, wake up. Remember, it was written in the Bible, he's waking up the apostles, wake up that you will stand strong during the, um, you know, probably during the time of tribulation and he was praying to prepare himself and then Judas came in to kiss him because it's a sign already that he's going to be betrayed and then after that in my dream the guy came out washing his feet and then when you go to John 13 verse 1 to 17 it was just before the Passover festival Jesus knew that the hour had come for him to leave his word, this world, and go to the Father, having loved his own who were in the world. He loved them to the end. The evening meal was in process, and the devil had already promote, prompted Judas, the son of Sa uh, Simon Iscariot, to betray Jesus. Jesus knew that the Father had put all things under his power, and that he had come from God and war returning to God. So he got up from the mill, took off his outer clothing, and wrapped a towel around his waist. After that, he poured water into a basin and began to wash his disciples' feet, drying them, in, uh, drying them with a the towel that was wrapped around him, he came to Simon Peter who said to him, Lord, are you going to wash my feet? Jesus re replied, You do not realize now what I am doing, but later you will understand. No, said Peter, you shall never wash my feet. And Jesus answered, Unless I wash you, you have no part of me. If you base again the dream, I tell you... Um, I am now reading the book of Matthew and I'm actually staying on the same uh, Bible verse. It's Matthew 21 and I'm still there for several days now, for several weeks. I just read and then I fall asleep and then uh, because of the busy schedule, because of this world that keeping us busy so we don't have time for the Lord. So anyway, my dream, my dream just came with this combination of the we are, I was there in the dark, just seated. Does it, you know, I'm just doing my reflection. It is like telling us Christians that we should pray right now. Our soul are actually in mourning 
I'm telling you, my heart is in mourning. I'm just like weak and tired. I can't understand why. And I need to put it out there. That it's like, we, with this dream, it's like telling me, and I want to share to you, that the Lord or the guy in the dream is washing my feet. I know it's not just only for me. Jesus said to the apostles, I do this in order for you to be a part of me. So, it's like telling me that the Lord is already washing the feet of all the Christians who seek Him, who repented with all their hearts, who accepted Jesus as their Lord and their Savior, and who are walking in righteousness. And those Christians who are also bearing fruits, bearing fruits, and planting seed for the kingdom of God. I felt like the Lord is already washing our feet to show to us that he, we are part of Him. That it's like He's trying to make us ready for the coming persecution. He died on the cross when He knows what, during the Passover. He actually, he knows that that's the last meal that they're going to have with his apostle. He washed the, the feet of the apostles. And after he washed the feet, remember they ate? They ate and then after that, I don't know if it's first or what, but he washed the feet during that Passover. And then that Passover also was the time when Judas kissed him, deceivingly kissed him. Remember, deceivingly kiss him during the, oh, I think Judas kissed him during the area where Jesus was praying and waiting for him. Correction, yes, that's the part where Jesus went to that area to, to pray. And then Judas came with the soldiers kissing him to let the soldiers know this is Jesus. In reflection to this, to our reality world, it's just like Judas is already kissing us Christians. We are being sold now. We are sold now to be persecuted. And that's why because of this money that the people are very ruthless and devil because of the greediness of being rich and being, um, being powerful and rich. And did, they didn't know that they're selling their souls to the devil. And we Christians, we will be ready for the persecution on my prior video, which is part of this, part one of this. It is also showing the red horse running right now with the trumpet. It's saying that the red horse is now going to get the peace, the peace in the world. And we will be persecuted and we will be killed. So brothers and Christians, sisters in Christ I know just like Jesus who were praying uh, he was like in mourn he's he's in in sorrow knowing that he's going to die God bless each and every one of you in Jesus Yeshua's name may he grant us peace and may one day be in heaven with him in Jesus mighty name amen